just one day on the front page of the uh, Property Times, and I think it was the independent newspaper, I saw this house, and it was called The Shanty. And it was just about five or ten minutes down the road from Tala. There, there just weren't places to hold courses, uh, in, in, certainly in West Tala at that time. There were very few uh, community settings or centers. Um, you know, not places for people to gather, to plan for change, and that kind of thing. So we said, well, we have our house here. But the other thing is, Anne Louise and I felt so passionately about, is that people learn best in center, in settings, rather, of beauty. And they came along probably about a month later to a weekend where we did a little bit more teaching and learning with them. And at the end of that, we told them our dream that we simply wanted to share the resources that we had. And really it was from that first course of 12 women that we found ways to, um, I suppose, um, grow our work, identify what were the kinds of courses that the people wanted by asking them, how about that, just ask them, what is it that they want to study and what is it that they want to learn? And often this is what we did, I suppose, in any significant moment for our transition of moving forward. We gathered anybody who was involved together in a circle and we said, we'd really like to, um, we'd like to celebrate and remember uh, this day as we, once everything is cleared, as we start to prepare to convert this place into what we would hope would be a learning center for the people of Tala. That's what we did. We had a lovely circle of prayer and remembering and expressing hope. And then we had a party. <laughs> And it was a time of great transition because the big plan was we were moving down from the shanty to this this building, except we had no building, we had nothing. And I remember standing there looking back up towards the mountains, towards where the shanty was. How on earth are we going to transpose what is there to here? And to walk in tonight and see how absolutely beautiful the building still is, yeah. is just part of it. The best thing that I've got from it through the years is the lifelong friends that I've met. And that's what I love about it. I love the people I've met on my journey. You know, it was a dark time in our country, the 80s were. And you opened many doors for us and for, to places that we might never have gone. I always call it, it's like home from home. Like it was a place where I felt magical when you came in the door, that you felt like people really loved you and supported you. and. They were there for you, there was no other ulterior motive, it was all about you and it was about how you felt and sharing your experience and your knowledge and I know how powerful that is because my life has completely transformed and to be able to do that on a daily basis for other people, to support other people, to come together, identify problems, identify solutions and go out and create that change, be it in their family, their society, their community, it's just an amazing experience so I'm extremely grateful for everything Oxal has given me. 15,000 people over the years have passed through our doors and we've met many new friends and we've learned from each other so that together we could transform our own lives, envision our own dreams and realize them together, especially in talent.